workhorse that will keep running to the day you die. And it says RS on there, and that means round shader. And that's what you want to use, the round shader. That's going to be shading. That's for shading and for your coloring. Now, you're going to take two of your tubes, and what you're going to actually do with these is you're going to pull the uh, stem out to about an inch and a quarter, and then tighten up the screw right here, the Allen wrench screw. Then take one of the tips, place it in, tighten the screw here. They should stick out about this far. And then I want you to do the same exact thing with the other tube. Bring it out about an inch and a quarter, tighten it down, put the tip in, tighten it down. Now we're ready to put the machines together. Now with your needles, this is your shading needle. Your shading needles are actually not tight grouped. They're very loose grouped. They're very wide. Okay. And also, along with the kit, comes these little round donuts right here. These are grommets, and you're going to put one inside each eye of each needle. Now, what you're going to do then is pick up your tube, take your needle, and I want you to very carefully put it right down into the tube. Be careful not to bump the tips of it because you can bend the needles very easily. Your needles also should be on the bottom of the bar when it's in the tube. You do not want them to be on top of the bar because they'll be in upside down. Now, then you take your machine, as so, and you just take and set it in very carefully. Slide it in, pick the grommet up, and slide it over the top of the armature bar. Okay, now what I've done also is I've put two rubber bands, which uh, do not come with the kit, but you'll have to have a couple rubber bands, and just slide them up over like so. That holds the bar down on the armature bar, and it creates like a shock absorber so that when the needle's hitting the skin, it stays in nice, smooth motion. Now, you want to adjust your needles, and this is how I do this. I'll usually bring them out just about like so, to where you can't barely see the tip of the needle at all, and slightly tighten the machine down. Now, when you push on the back here, your needle should jot out about, say about a quarter inch, not even a quarter inch, I should say about an eighth of an inch, or the thickness of a quarter. That will be perfectly fine for doing what you have to do. And then snug it up a little bit. Um, you can experiment and go back and forth. The idea behind the needles is that you don't want to take and uh, use too small of a needle to do a job. In other words, uh, you don't want to paint a wall with a toothbrush. So you want to make sure that you use the proper sizes to do the job quickly. Because when you're doing a tattoo for a client, uh, to take a, a small tattoo like this and take two hours to do it because you're using something way too small is not a wise idea. It's really smart that if you take and you use the proper sizes in order to take and accomplish a job in the least amount of time as possible and do a good job while you're doing it. So that's the best way to take a look. So just kind of look through your needles and get to, to know which needles are which. And remember, RL stands for round liner. RS stands for round shader. M stands for mag. Your mags are going to be used for larger pieces. Uh, you go to, to a piece like this size right here, okay? Now, something like that, I would outline that with probably a seven round liner and then fill it in. Well, in after, uh, retrospect, I could probably use and get away with using about a nine mag to fill this all in and get the colors all blended in with. So so this is what you're going to have to, this is a learning experience. It's going to take time for you to get used to uh, what needles are going to do what job. I'm going to compact it a little more when I need a darker shade. I can turn the machine sideways so that the needles chase each other. 
the needles in the front and put in ink, and the needles in the middle and the back put in ink right after.